Hi, today I'll be teaching you how to make a full body, a human body, out of clay. Again, in the hair tutorial, as you saw, I'm still working on this caveman project. So, I've applied this much hair, but I showed you in the earliest tutorial how to just get a strand, put it on, stretch it, and break it. So you're basically going to do this until you feel you've had enough, you have enough hair, basically. So now I've completely applied the hair. See? So now that the head is pretty much complete, except for the eyes, which I need to put in, the lips, I pretty much just took a piece, rolled it up, like that and put it on. Notice the lower lip is usually a bit bigger than the upper lip. But anyway, now we're working on the torso. So I'm going to take a piece of clay about this big and roll it around. Okay, now we've pretty much rolled it into a ball. Now I'm going to start to roll it this way and kind of flatten it a little bit. the top flatter the bottom it doesn't really matter we're gonna attach legs the neck I'll just be taking a piece doesn't matter what shape it is really just want to kind of stick it on there smear the edges around like this notice what I'm doing and then just get the head, stick it on there, make sure it's secure. You may want to add a higher neck if you want to. Anyway, that's fine. So on men and women, I get, this is a woman though, so it's going to be bigger. I get two little balls and stick them on there. Usually they're smaller than you'd think. With men, I more do like a ridge like this. With women, you more form a ball. This is gonna be a woman. So now I've got them both on. I just usually use a tool to just poke a little belly button in there. Now it's time for the legs. So now I have the torso pretty much fixed up. Let's work on the arms and legs. The torso really actually is the center when you're building. You don't really need to worry about the hips as much as you'd think because they kind of just come on. Particularly with women, I actually apply the legs on the side because, you know, the waist is a little thinner. With men, I just put them straight underneath and don't slim it out as much here. So get a block of clay, four segments, and split it in half. You'll need just as much for the arms as you'll need for the legs. Although, I, again, I am building cavemen, so their arms are a little longer than their legs. But you may find you need to a little more clay for the legs than you need for the arms. I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to split this in half. First, I get all the pieces. I actually get two pieces for the individual butt cheek. Two thin little pieces for the hands, a swab for one set of fingers, so then a ball that I'm going to make the fingers out of, and a ball that I'm going to make the toes out of. 
now that we've got all these parts, I think I'll make this the arms. So basically, let's start with the arms. I got a piece. I'm just going to roll it out like this till it seems about right. Don't worry about making the joints separate. I find that usually unimportant. I just stick it on. So this is a lot about smearing the edges well so it blends in. And I've got an arm like this. Notice on a Homo sapien, the arm probably wouldn't be that long. Take this, put on another arm. 